So the weather's uh, calmed down a little bit. It's a little bit cold out here, but there's no wind. Yeah, not near as much wind. Well, we don't know until we get on top, but uh, yesterday we knew it was going to be windy kind of yeah. right off the get-go. Um, it's pretty calm. Stars are out. Um, I'm sure hoping that uh, more stuff will be out feeding this morning. Uh, buck deer is the is a game of choice yes, today. It is. So, yes, it is. Um, so we've got a couple of spots to glass along the way. Yep. And then Will's going to follow us a little bit later on with the mules. Yep. And then Will come up with the mules later. We'll pack that uh, elk out and uh, good possibility on harvesting a nice buck deer too. Cool. Let's do it. Sounds good. See you out there. about when you're out here we're not top of the food chain obviously we've taken this buck down here we've come up as Ryan came up to uh, radio back to camp to bring another mule he saw this grizz and it's actually quite a big one pretty good size yeah, would you say that's about 350 400 pounds yeah give or take yeah yeah he's a pretty big bear now obviously he's had the shot it's brought him over Ryan's run him off before but it looks like he's back and interested again so Rifles loaded, obviously we can't shoot about here. <laughs> Firstly, there is no tag, and secondly, um, it's federal defence, I believe, Ryan, to shoot a grizzly bear. Protected, yeah. Unless it's in self-defence. He's about 600 yards away, so... This has to be one of the most beautiful species of deer I've ever seen. He's got beautiful colouring in his face, nice dark nice ridge, you know, white along his face. Very, very pretty deer. Now, how do these make for eating, Ryan? Really good to eat. Um, a lot better than, say, the sagebrush type flat country yeah. in the eastern part of the state. You know, they're kind of like an antelope when they eat on that sagebrush. But these mountain bucks, they do taste pretty darn good. You know, look at the grazing up here. It's nice, it's lush, it's green. And these guys pretty much sleep, eat, and then. Well, he'll be rutting Pre come December. Yep, prepare for winter. Yeah, but a very pretty, nice shape in his antlers as well. Let's say not, not as tall and as wide as the other one, but I think that's a really pretty buck. It's a really pretty buck. It's a nice representation for uh, the mountain mule deer. We've still got a lot of work to do, though. The mules are on the way. We've still got an elk to pack out, yep. and now... A nice mule deer. A nice pack. mule deer as well, so I think the work starts now then, Ryan. You betcha.
right, what's all this about? What's this ritual here about? Uh, this is something we've always done that I got taught. Um, a particular gentleman that uh, used to own the business, used to guide with a, an Indian um, quite a while back, and he always stated, you put the feet in the fork of a tree, and if you put the fork, the hunter puts two feet, the guide puts two feet, and it frees the spirit of the animal that you harvested and it's to bring good hunting to you later. So it's a must here at Wolverine Creek. We always do that. And it seems to have done the trick. It does, every time. Congrats. Thanks. Be sure to subscribe to Team Wild TV for the best hunting, air gun and gear videos on YouTube.